Hey folks, I uh, just wanted to uh, do a quick video. Really, it's about the trailer. Um, I'm here on a Saturday at the job site that we're currently on. We're almost done. We've got a punch list. We'll have to come back and do a little bit of tile work after the granite countertops get in. But today we came, we set a window uh, that needed to be set. It's the main window in the kitchen. And that being set then gives us the last dimension that the countertop templator needed, which is the depth from the wall to the actual uh, the frame of the window itself because it's a vinyl window. It's a new new construction window, but it's vinyl. And we needed that depth in order for them to actually run their countertop to become the window sill right in the kitchen. So it's gonna be a really cool, real clean look, but they needed that dimension, so we worked a Saturday. Ah, Saturdays. But after that, installed the microwave, you know, ooh, slide it in the slot and plug it in, right? But it had a uh, custom stainless trim kit that you had to put in and that was finicky very little tolerance for where you could have it uh beyond that dining room light uh stove install because uh, the appliance people that delivered will not do gas so we had to do the gas and test it all uh, and and then we uh slid the dishwasher into place we have to go buy a supply for it but dishwasher's in place i hung the dining room light we did a few other things really good cleanup customers homeowners have been on vacation they're going to come back and it's you know 80 percent 85 percent done countertops and then tile and a little bit of paint and we are officially done so with that being said this video thank you for the hey update on a job site that you know we hadn't seen uh, but uh, actually, you have seen it. It's in videos. Check out my other videos. <laughs> but I'm still on that job site, and I need to take this trailer to a different job site, my own job site, my house. I need to do some stuff. And so it's all loaded up, ready to go. All Everything's all reeled in. And I just wanted to say, hey, look, check this out. This is what it looks like. I've got a little bit of stuff on the countertop. I'm going to leave it there. And a little bit of stuff in the aisleway. Everything is the way you see it. And because I'm going to be getting my miter box right back out again, I went ahead and just simply set the miter box material supports or the stand material supports just with the miter box. That's not where they live, but I just set that there really quickly. But take a look. Okay, neat and orderly. I'm going to hook it to my uh, my Tuareg Tuareg. Um, and which pulls this thing, uh, pulls 7,700 pounds. This is not 7,700 pounds at all, uh, not even half of that. So um, uh, I'm going to uh, hook it up, pull it over to my house, about two miles away, drop it, and actually I'll probably leave it hooked up. You don't need to know that. But when I pull in and I drop the gate, I'm gonna take a look at this again, just to see anything shift, anything. Decent roads, nothing should shift. But what about this passive restraint system that keeps, you know, all the uh, tool cubbies and the tools in their cubbies? We'll see. Okay, that's what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like when I get home. All right, here we go. So I just pulled into my house, and my house is literally kind of like a like a combat zone, doing a lot of land. Well, a lot of regrading, really. And we're about halfway through it, but we're close to topsoil, close to gravel, and etc. All right, so I pulled into this uh, barren landscape I call my backyard. Uh, going to work on that thing uh, with uh, adjust a few shelves, build a couple of shelves, and all of that. But anyway, so the idea is what moved, if anything. So let's take a look. All I did was just unlock the locks. Actually, I'll just flip this around and just show you the trailer. You don't need to look at me. And there we go. Okay, so there's the trailer. Everything's looking pretty good. I lost one thing, and that was an empty water bottle that sat up on the countertop. Otherwise, looking in here, all the tools look pretty good. Nothing seems to be shifted. Nothing shifted on my uh, small tool garage. Uh, I actually forgot I even put that up there. That's a part to my miter saw. Uh, it's a material stop, I think, or a hold down. But anyway, everything looks just peachy and good. Even those things really didn't shift. So other than that, I'm very happy with Ron Polk's passive restraint system. Thank you, Ron Polk, for all those years of figuring it out so I didn't have to. There you go, uh, my smart trailer. 
and wow just happy 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 with it all right you take care